Ladies and gentlemen, this bout is for three minute rounds in the cruiserweight division. Brought to you courtesy of VIP Promotions in association with Trinity Entertainment. Your referee for this contest is Jamie Kirkpatrick and your timekeeper, Andrew East. Introducing to you first, boxing out of your blue corner, you the claret and blue shorts, official weight 12 stone, 10 pounds. Tonight he takes part in his 164th professional contest. From Ligny, Gloucestershire, it's Poochie, Louis Van Pooch. And opposing across the ring, boxing out of your red corner, he wears the black and silver shorts, official weight 12 stone, 1 pounds. He had a distinguished amateur career, his highlight reaching the final of the national championships, undefeated as a professional, two wins from his two contests to date. One win coming by way of knockout from Birkenhead, Ben Bad Intentions Bernard! Four three minute rounds. Boom boom, gate the room, about two in the evening, four threes. Coming from the red corner from Birkenhead, Ben Burnham. And coming from the blue corner from Lindley in Gloucestershire is Louis, Louis Van Pooch. Burnham, his third professional fight, Van Pooch, in his 164th. Yeah, it's good to see Van Pooch again, I've not seen him for a while. Obviously, he's been busy on the circuit, plenty of fights, a bit of a character. Usually has the curly tash. On the pooch. I think he's a barber during the day, mate. Luckily, it's a body by Burnham there. He actually looks in pretty good shape on pooch from previously. Usually has, usually carries a bit more than that, but it's trimmed down a little bit, so. Probably working on his fitness. Good diet. No, no, dis no disrespect, Mike, but looking at the two kids there, one's in shape and one isn't. Oh, de definitely, yeah, there's a massive yep. difference in there. Uh, could could if he, he's rating at 12 stone 10 today, probably make middleweight there. And again, and again. Much bigger, 12 stone 1. Yeah. No weight on him, he'd be tight at super middle, though, wouldn't he? Trying to get down to super middle, but I'm, I'm sure he could do it. Burn him. Yeah. He's 12 stone 1, so he's banged up. He's all oh right. I thought the Yeah, no, Van Poots was 12 stone 7, so my apologies. No, my mistake. Well. Referee Jamie Kirkpatrick. <laughs> Myself, Lee. Top off white head. Average professional in the 90s and early 2000s. And Mike Action Gormley. Good shots by Burnham there. Former Central Area title holder and former world title challenger. A shot by Burnham there. Yeah, just to get nice and steady. He's, he's obviously aware of uh, Pooch's credentials and obviously his ability as a journeyman. He's, he's quite a tricky kid. But uh, Burnham in no rush, Te technically very good. Nice shot, nice over on right. And he came like oh, nice. 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 nice body shot there, don't know if that hurt him or not, Lee's. Tucked it round the right hand, left elbow quite nicely. Sounded good, Mike. He took it well then. Yeah, as I say, he's quite, he's quite a clever, clever box of poops, even though he's a journey man, he knows how to look after himself. And obviously, if he got hurt by a shot, he knows how to cover that as well. He's been stopped 11 times in 148 defeats. Oh, a little bit of blood coming from the, the nose. Good first round by Burnham.
Second out, round two. Yeehaw! Boom, boom, shit, they're in round two. Yeah, nice first round by Burnham. A, a, a wide range of punches there, Mike. Mix it between head and body. He showed some composure there as well. Nice with the straights, nice with the hooks. And the uppercut, fantastic. I think the fans are stopping here. Yeah. yeah, quite impressed so far with Burnham. Not many people do this to Louis Van Pooch. Obviously, you've got to be careful when it comes back. Pooch fancies it, obviously, you can step it up a bit. It depends uh, what mood is in tonight. Burn, burn him up to the longer, taller guy. You just keep, just keep it at a distance there. Uh, gets backed up on the ropes, just move off. Don't get caught on the ropes with Pooch in front of you. Nice body shots by Pooch, I just say, once you back up onto the ropes, he uh, gives him a little bit of confidence. Yeah. Nice single shot, right up to the head. Work rate shots a little bit, just the Burnhams. Yeah, he just needs to keep it long, keep, keep working that jab, open Pooch up a little bit. Van Pooch, not like most of you, and he comes forward all the time, makes you work. Whereas he generally moves away. He comes forward, and not often watching in the, in, the, in, the, in the power department, Mike, but he's putting the shots in there. No, he's just a clever guy, isn't he? He knows, he knows when just to do enough, really. He knows how to spoil, but obviously Burnham's not giving him much chance to do that. Just keeping it a little bit of range. Step off, step off with his jab and stay away. Lovely double up by Ben Burnham. Hey, combos go, Ben. Mix that up now. Let the combos go, lad. Jab, jab, Ben. Come on. Jab, Ben. Keep the snap in that jab. Jab, Ben. That's it. I think he's just touched. I was just going to say that. I think he's just touching him with that jab. Open to land the overhand right. From Pooch indicating it was low, look well to me. To be honest, he's. Uh, his box is a little bit high. Lovely right hook to the body right, Ben. Nice left kick there, good left kick. Second one, I think, landed on the chin. Two rounds to Burnham, Mike. Yeah, agree with you, Ellie. Two rounds. Boom boom shit, we're in round three, yeah, schedule four three. Ben, ben Burnham in red corner from Birkenhead. We're going to have blue corner, blue Van Pooch and Lindley in Gloucester shot. Cornerman today, Van Pooch, he's famous journeyman, cornerman, Curtis Gugano with the new haircut. And Ben Burnham's cornerman tonight is his amateur coach. He's now gone professional with him, Sean Trodden from Birkenhead Venture. Great power shots by Burnham. Yeah, I don't, I don't think Burnham needs to be in there with him, mixing it a little bit. Just, just keep his range, just keep it at range, he's that jab. Like he likes the inside stuff more than the long stuff, mate. Yeah, Great definitely. Right hand by from Pooch there. That's the thing, though, when he makes it with Pooch, as I say, he's quite clever inside. Pooch, he likes to get inside and mess it around. Let him go, Let him go. Let him go, Ben. Van Pooch has had 11 victories, only three stoppages. He's in 64, suggests he can't punch that very hard for a man of his size. Good 
just like that right up. Red and Tabodi. Yeah, I think I'd like to see Burn just use his jab a little bit more. Be a little more positive with his jab instead of just flicking it out. And pose yourself a little bit more with that jab. I just don't think he needs to be inside there working inside. I'd agree. Good shot by two good shots by Van Poot. Yeah, he's, he's got to be careful, Ben. I don't I don't think he's in too much danger. But Poots can be awkward. And if he lets Poots lean on him, obviously, Poots is quite a heavy, strong guy. Can be tiring. Referee Jamie Kirkpatrick. If the wheels have fell off a little bit here, Mike seems a little bit tired. Yeah, he's got to be careful, hasn't he, with that Poots with that overhand right. You know, when you're in there, Van Poots is he's, he's feeling it, I think. That he, he's having a bit more success in this round. Yeah, it's easy, it's easy for people to judge, I think. Van, Van Poots is a cheerleader man, so they expect them to walk over him, but it's not always the case, especially with this, this kid, Van Poots. But after the first round, Van Poots has definitely smelt something here. And he's a little bit on. How have we got this third round, Mike? Final round of four threes between Birkenheads, Burnham and Lindley's Van Pooch. Myself and Mike Gorm, we think the third round was shared. We'll find out more after the referee at the end. Yeah, it's going to be an interesting last round, this. I think Pooch might have fancied the last round. I say he's done this many times before. He's putting a little bit of pressure on Burnham. Burnham just needs to be a little bit clever and just stay away now. Just use his boxing skills. We've obviously got it two up and a draw. But we're, again, we're not the judges. We can only give our opinions. Humble opinions. Humble opinions. Burnham just needs to be clever. Stay off now. It's the last round. Doesn't, doesn't need to get involved and mix it. Stay off and boxing. His legs have got a little bit heavy to me. Got to be careful that over and right though. There it goes again. And Poots really fancies this round. Yeah, as I said before, I think I'd just like to see Burnham use his jab a little bit more, be a bit more positive with it, keep Burnham away. Sorry, I keep Van Poots away. Nice double left up by Burnham. Lovely one, two down the middle, so it goes. Back on, nice exchange by both boxers. Great little salvo in the middle of it. Yeah, nice little exchange there, but tiring for both guys. Great for the fans, though. And still, Van Poot still coming forward, though. Still fancies us a little bit. Might be a little bit too little, too late. Yeah, I think Burnham just tiring a little bit. So as long as he keeps his composure, I should get through this one. He's got to dig in now. Sometimes we're a little fitter than we are, how fitter than we feel. That's the test he can do when you've got to dig deep, bite down on that bunch on the gum shield. Crack on with it. Don't forget that. Van Poots has done this a number of times, he's done more rounds than he burned in his third fight, so it's a, it's a big test, a big ask for him. But so far he's coming through it quite well. Legs a little bit heavy now by both guys. Yeah, well it's been a good second half of a fight by Van Poots, and this is how the referee scores this. 
Yeah. Still got Burnham winning it, but it's been a test for him. Yeah, great Mentally test. Mentally and great physically. Test for Burnham. Good fight, lad. Ladies and gentlemen, before we receive your referee's decision, let's please show our appreciation for both boxers. Ladies and gentlemen, after four fantastic rounds of action, your referee Jamie Kirkpatrick scores the contest 39 points to 38 points for your winner, Ben Barrington's Burner! For all boxing info, news, and latest interviews, amateur and pro across the north, click and subscribe. VIP boxing promotions. Also, Twitter, Instagram and Facebook.